Okay, so, recently I've gotten into watching Top Gear, specifically the newer British one, or at least the two seasons that they have on Netflix. Thanks. And it's also gotten me back into cars and collecting Hot Wheels, which made me think of an old trick one of my friends showed me back in sixth grade. Turning the bubble from a Hot Wheels box into a little podium. So, what do you need? Well, you need the bubble from one of these Hot Wheels boxes, preferably from a large model like Rage and Express here. And it's the plastic bubble that I'm talking about. Now this one's been opened already, like a month ago, but yeah, just toss the card and the actual model itself aside, and for now, focus on the plastic bubble. And first step, take some of this paint sealer, which I use pretty much on everything that I paint, and it's basically just helps the paint not scratch easily. And you just apply a nice coat of that onto the bubble, making sure to get all of the sides, including the bottom rim there. You're going to want that to set for a bit before you bring in the actual paint. I chose to use black since it's a nice neutral color, so I can use it for pretty much all of my cars. And, you know, of course, you just put that on as you would any other paint. As you can see, though, it kind of seeps through because, well, light seeps through because it's translucent, so you're going to want to apply plenty of coats on both the outside and inside, I would suggest. And from here, you could honestly just stop. But I'm going to personalize this one a little bit more. Specifically, make it a dedicated stand for Baseline, which is my favorite Hot Wheels model of all time. Specifically this one, since it's the only one that I have out of my three Baselines with an intact card. Or at least mostly intact, as you can see it's pretty bent, so I don't really mind cutting it up a little bit. Yeah, we're, we're cutting it up. Specifically, I want that Hot Wheels logo at the top first. So we're just going to gently try to cut that. Well, shit. It's okay, I just glued it to a piece of paper, it's fine. And I also want this picture of baseline on the back. And from here, just take your trusty glue gun or super glue, either works, and you know, just kinda glue on the different decorations wherever you want them. And there you go. You have your own Hot Wheels stand or podium or whatever. Like I said, you can use any color you want, you don't have to do the decorations, especially if you don't have the card back to cut them out of, and uh, definitely be more careful than me when cutting out the Hot Wheels logo. You can also do this with any other card back, like that Disney Cars one. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say, so this is Noble2Productions saying, peace out. <laughs>